When you can't make it to City Hall or the school board meetings, local journalists from BrainerdDispatch.com will be there to report the facts and get your questions answered. Local news works for you. Stay up to date at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good afternoon, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Wednesday, February 28th. I'm Teresa Burke with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. Four potential locations for a new Baxter City Hall are on the table. City Council members reviewed the options during a work session last week. The idea of a new City Hall has been a topic of discussion for many years, as space became an issue in the current building on Memory Wood Drive. Twice before, the Council considered designs with meeting spaces, indoor parking for police vehicles, and fenced space for police canines. Each time, economic conditions put those considerations on hold. First was the Great Recession, followed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Council members are expected to discuss the topic in more detail at a future retreat or workshop. Managing Editor Renee Richardson has more on the story in today's paper and at BrainerdDispatch.com. A possible site for the Wonder Trek Children's Museum in Baxter has officials looking at city services and a 2025 extension of Ironwood Drive. The museum's interest in the piece of land was the impetus to studying existing conditions. The parcel in question is south of Highland Scenic Drive. It would mean the extension of Ironwood Drive near the intersection of Mapleton Road. Currently, municipal utilities of sewer and water stop at the north end of the property owned by CTC. Read more about the feasibility study and what it means for the city in today's Dispatch. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, This Was Brainerd, exploring the Dispatch archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. Eighty years ago today, in 1944, the dispatch reported that 2nd Lieutenant Clarence H. Dutkowski of Brainerd has been reported missing in action on the Italian front, according to a telegram received by his parents from the War Department in Washington, D.C. He had entered the armed forces three years ago and has been in Italy the past eight months after serving in North Africa. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's today's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Weather for the Brainerd area today, looking at plenty of sunshine but with a northwest wind and much colder air, temperatures only in the mid-teens this afternoon, dropping down into the upper single digits for tonight, and we'll have plenty of sunshine the rest of the week and warming up considerably. Mid-40s for Thursday, and then by Friday, we'll be back into the mid-50s. I'm Storm Tracker meteorologist Robert Pointer. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support, and thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day, and for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great day, and we'll catch you tomorrow.